Hey there, so this is a really short video about the differences between an atom, an ion and a molecule. Let's get started. By the end of today's video, you should be able to look at this collection of drawings and chemical symbols and be able to decide which ones of them are atoms, ions and molecules. So let's get started with atoms first. So atoms are the smallest part of an element, so they only consist of one of the building blocks. So if we look back at our previous examples, I'm looking for things that just consist of one atom only, only one thing. So you can see there's two that are displayed with the chemical symbols. You've got AR and HE. But also in terms of drawings, I've got two circles that are just on their own. And one circle means just one atom. Ions are the probably the easiest of the three because an ion is a charged particle. So we're looking for anything with a positive or negative charge. So you can see that I've put a big red square around all of the things that have a charge associated with them. The last one, a molecule, is a group of atoms that are held together with covalent bonds. So what I'm looking for is more than one atom that is covalently bonded to another one. It doesn't matter whether the two atoms are of the same element or of different elements. We still call them molecules. So you can see the two empty circles bonded together make a molecule. They're covalently bonded together. But equally, the three at the bottom, where one is shaded in a different colour, also represent a molecule, just a molecule that contains different elements this time. In terms of the other ones, what I'm looking for is two non-metals that are bonded together. Because remember, non-metals always engage in covalent bonding. So CO2, Cl2 and O2 are all examples of molecules as well. So that's the difference between an atom, an ion and a molecule. It might be worthwhile going back to the beginning of this video and looking at that screen and just making sure that you can identify which one is which.